you can see uh, mm -hmm. projects our feelings. Yeah, sometimes also about personality, right? And describing yeah. their personality and uh, uh, just like the way they, they, the way they, they dress up, just like uh, picturing their their attitude. I mean, I mean their um, what what do you call it? How much valuable they are? What we call it? So it's what they're projecting, their personality, no? With the yeah. colors and the clothes they are wearing. Yeah. Uh, so it's, so we judge people by what they are wearing. You're saying, no? Yeah, because in, in my country, you know, uh, we, yeah, of course, we cannot judge something by their cover. But it, that's for sure. But for me, uh, the way we dress up uh, our body, uh, that mean leads people to to notice us who we are, kind of thing. Uh, so you know, we so are sending a message, no? Yeah, By, we're sending right. a message. So it says that we shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but as we are human beings, uh, we do it. When I, if I see someone in the street and depending what color they are wearing or what they are wearing, the design yeah. of the clothes, uh, without realizing I have uh, judged them. If I yeah. want to go near them, if I want to speak to them, uh, I have uh, made an opinion about them uh, yes. subconsciously, no? Yes, of course, of course. That's yeah, what you're oh, saying. Always, always in mind, you know, mm. when, when when we meet someone at the very first time, how the way they dress, their their appearance, and uh, it could be I can I can notice oh the, what kind of person they are, you know, I, I show how we speak also how we speak and what kind of words that we produce also uh, recognize their personality. I guess so. So so that's why we have to be very careful wherever we go, you know, to uh, put. Uh, to choose the proper proper dress, I mean uh, clothes to mm. wear, uh, whenever like to go to beach or to go to work, you know, we have to uh, uh, to adjust when we go, the time, the right time and the right place. Mm. Uh, that, that is in, in, in my mind, you know, I cannot generalize just like wearing contact to go anywhere, oh, you're, you're going to be terrible in my place, you know, and people are going to watch you, you know. Like staring at us, uh, you know. Yes, that's it in my place. Uh, why, you know, to become uh, the center of their, their, their what, uh, their center the of center attraction, of their attention, uh. or their attention. You know, when when to go to Bali, it be, they don't, they never see us. You know, just staring at us, well, like this. You know, and they never see. Uh, uh, they never see human at all, you know, just like gonna grab, you know, just I don't so know. I think yeah. what we were gives us confidence as people because yeah. uh, sometimes we lack confidence and we walk into a room um, feeling uh, better depending on the clothes we are wearing uh, yeah. also people um, don't um, get to know us as people they are too busy looking at what we are wearing no where you live do you have to wear traditional clothes or you can wear modern clothes uh, in, in daily basis mm. no I, I don't have to for specific uh, uh, restriction for, for clothes you know for what, what, what I'm going to wear this not at all this is completely what their personality uh tells you uh also but uh, sometimes some people also when they go to bed some people wearing bad uh, bad dress you know for, pajamas. For like, yeah pajamas kind of thing but yes and and i'm also i'm also it's gonna feel comfortable but, but my dress is not like lingerie you know like sexy not at all i'm just like Long dress, you, you know, just make me comfortable and I can move around anywhere, you know, just like uh, sleeping diagonally, you know, because I sleep alone. <laughs> Hello, I sleep alone. <laughs> so we can wear pajamas for bed 
or the dress is called a nighty. A nighty is like a, a long dress just for bed. Um, I have uh, got into a habit here that I have clothes uh, that I wear outside. And as soon as I come home, I change my clothes into something more comfortable to uh, do things around the house. Um, and then to go to bed, I like to wear pajamas. Uh, I like to wear something different, not the same clothes. Well, so now, what, so what, what, what if you're in daily, uh, in daily basis, what kind of clothes do you wear? Right. Uh, now it's so different. I have made this comment to my friend. This year, I haven't wore jeans in all of the year. And I used to live in jeans all the time. Mm. I have to say, I am guilty of living in tracksuits. I think the Americans call them sweatpants. Um, I have lived in a tracksuit all year since uh, the pandemic. So you can't see now. But um, I even go to work in tracksuit. I come home and I wear it as well. I haven't worn jeans. Um, yeah. I like T-shirts uh, to wear because I'm comfortable. So I have not worn three quarters of my wardrobe this year. I can't be bothered to wear it because I don't know because of the mask or whatever. But I wear the same four or five things uh, every week. I haven't changed it. So I haven't got dressed up. I haven't made an effort. I just wore very casual, comfortable clothes. Yeah, that is true. So which one do you prefer in daily basis in your, uh, at home? Or do you, do you prefer to, to wear like skirt or, or, or pant? Uh, for me, a pant is like short pant. It's more comfortable for me every single day, you know, daily basis. So what do you, what do you think? Do you like skirt? No, I, I haven't got a skirt. I threw all my skirts away. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got a skirt. What I thought about the other day, that uh, maybe when the summer comes, I would like to wear a long dress. I love um, uh, long flowing dresses in the summer. Mm -hmm. uh, and I wear sandals. Um, To, yesterday it was 20 degrees here and people were on the beach and swimming ah. yesterday really unusual so uh in the summer i don't wear trousers really uh, i don't wear track suits i just try and wear long flowing dresses which are made of cotton oh, and yeah. well that's what i enjoy but normally in winter i wear jeans every day but this year i haven't worn my jeans not one day Yeah. So uh, there are a lot of things in my wardrobe that I haven't worn. And the colors um, we have said, uh, I have favorite color, which is blue uh, because of the sky, of the sea. And uh, to wear, um, I like to wear purple. And uh, around the house, I wear a lot of black, maybe. Which do you prefer in jewelry? Do you prefer silver? Or gold? Oh, gold, of course. No, I prefer silver. I, I, have, I, gold. Gold. I have gold. I have gold, but uh, I prefer to wear silver earrings. Uh, I prefer to wear silver. I don't know why. Even though I, I have I, I, gold. Gold. Everything is gold in me. But nowadays, I, I, I didn't uh, wear my necklace because I have uh, pain in here. Mm -hmm. You know, when, when, when I'm... Yesterday... When I was uh, frying food and then blew up on my face and my hair and swell, but still red in here, you know. Still oh, so you can burnt see. yourself. Yes. Oh. And, can oh. uh, yeah. and also I covered it by, by like makeup a little bit so, so that it's not appears in here. It's like bomb, you know, yesterday. Right. Just yesterday. Yeah. So you were cooking and yes. something exploded and no, you got burnt. Hitting my face. Oh, here in my head as well. So I, I you know, I rapidly uh, treat, uh, get treatment, you know, like yesterday, I put some like uh, aloe vera, you know, aloe vera. Ah, yeah, very I, good, yeah. Yeah, for, for like, because it's as well, like hot oil, you know, catch up my face. Wow, you know? very serious, yeah. no? You are very lucky that nothing else happened. Yeah, so at the, uh, at the first time I was, I was so panicked, you know, so I, I, I soaked my head On, on, on the water, in the water, yeah. in, in the cold yeah. water, yeah, in the cold water. And then uh, I'm grabbing my fridge to searching for uh, bar ice, you know, 
Uh, when I used to work in the kitchen, we used to put the hands when we burnt ourselves uh, in cold water and ice. Yeah. Well, uh, Annie, just before we finish, I would like to do some idioms because I don't do them very often, but I thought maybe you would like them uh, to relate it to colours. It's called to see red. So if I see red, do you know how I feel if I see red? You feel angry. <laughs> yes, I feel angry to see red, right? Uh, um, if I am green with envy. Oh, that, that means you you want to have so, what someone else have. Is that yes. true? Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and to be uh, to feel blue feeling blue or you're feeling sad or... <laughs> i'm going to say something as well let me see if i get it correct because sometimes i get mixed up between english and spanish oh, also yellow belly yellow belly <laughs> i've never heard that one uh do you know what uh, a blue film is i think i have it correct a blue film oh oh so you know I hope I have it correct in English because uh, the colours are the reverse uh, in each uh, language. So a blue film is like a, a sexy film. Films, that's film like something, something, you know? You know what I mean? Yeah. In windows. <laughs> right. So I think that is a, a blue film. Someone will correct us if it's uh, incorrect. Yeah, but don't be yellow belly. I've never heard yellow belly. What is yellow belly? Yellow belly, just like, you know, uh, uh, people who, what is that? Oh, I'm forgot. <laughs> so it is a bad thing, a bad thing. Uh, uh, so if that? I am yellow belly, uh, what does it mean? Yeah. I'm not brave, yeah. I'm not. Yellow belly, yeah, yellow belly, you know, just like afraid of something, you know. All when right. They, uh, when they face a problem, they just run away. What is that? Ah, right. Okay. I've never heard of it. So yellow belly is someone that isn't brave and runs away from a problem. Yeah. This is, okay. this is English. This is what is called in English. I'm forgetting in the comment already, you know. I forgot. Okay. So he's a yellow belly if he runs away and he doesn't stand up for something. Okay. This one. Tickled pink. I'm tickled pink to see you today, Annie. Oh, thank you. So what does yes. that mean? Tickle pink. Tickle pink. Yeah, this is already up here. This is very happy. <laughs> yeah, very happy. Do you know what tickle is? Tickle, tickle. yeah, make, make you laughing. Like yes, yeah, so you. do yeah. that right now. Ah. Okay, so tickle pink. A golden opportunity. A uh, golden opportunity is uh, the, the good chance or perfect chance, I guess. So I had this golden opportunity to talk to you today. Oh. <laughs> right? Yeah. Right? So I'm tickled pink to see you. And I have a golden opportunity to speak to you today. And I don't feel so blue today after speaking to you. Uh, and what about the black sheep? Do you have this expression? Black, yeah, the black sheep of the family, of course. Yeah. But uh, everyone on their family having only one person as black sheep on their family is something like different from uh, the other one, especially the negative one. I guess so. So the black sheep of the family is a person that maybe do things which are not yeah, expected yeah. or they give problems. Yes, because if you look on a farm, there's always one black sheep and all the rest of the sheep are uh, white or cream, not in colour. Yeah. Okay, Annie, would you like to say anything about colors before we finish? I like, yeah, yeah, to see red. Oh, is that, uh, I got it on this, in, in the screen now, <laughs> I just realized. Yes, uh, I like, uh, actually, I like the colors that not, uh, not dark, the, the, O R D D O R K D D A R K dark no, no, colors. No, no, no. D O R K dark. 
Dark colours. Okay, I'll have to look that one up because I don't know that one. No, okay. It's not, they're not, they're not, not, not techy. You know techy? Techy oh, is yeah. not cool. Yeah, that's kind of, yeah, techy has been like dark, it's a meaning. Right, yeah. okay. Yeah, as long as I like all of those colours actually. Uh, I don't have any any, any specific colours uh, for my favourite one. As long as they are uh, good for my patient and make me feel calm, that's it, enough. And also, color describe their personality as well. Mm -hmm. Also, and when uh, I have just thought now, just before we finish, that when we are eating, certain colors uh, encourage us or motivate us to eat. So, a brightly colored salad uh, could maybe encourage us to eat vegetables, no? If it's red, bright green, etc. No? So I think color is very important also when we are eating. Yes. Oh, well, color is what, what do you mean? Color is important when you're eating? Yes, because it attracts you to want to, for, for, first of all, oh. when we are eating, um, we uh, look first with our eyes. And if it's very colorful, eyes, then with the smell eyes. and then with the taste. So I think we are attracted first by the color of the food, then the smell, and then the taste. It all is influenced one by the other. Yeah, to, to boost your appetite, all right? Mm -hmm. And to, to make, it. yeah, appetizing, but we start with our eyes first. Yeah, that's true. It's same when you, when you see people, beautiful, beautiful women, and the men gonna <laughs> feel something, something, yeah, kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh annie we're going to say goodbye now because we don't want to make it too long and yeah. we hope that everyone uh, has enjoyed the conversation about uh colors and that there are oh, war hey, i'm sorry miss i'm sorry i just uh coward coward do you know coward yes coward yes i do know that one that, 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 that's coward. That's mean the yellow belly. The coward. Oh, right. So he's <laughs> a coward and he's yellow belly. Right. Yes. Okay. Uh, but I did understand you and I tried to imagine what it meant, yellow belly. Uh, what I do find curious is when I find something to look it up and see where it came from and why people used it in the past. Because there is always a story uh, behind it. So let's hope that some people make some comments about colours in their own country and uh, we can read about them and find out uh, what they mean in their countries. Okay then, Annie, have a nice Sunday. You have a, it's evening there, I suppose. And here it's uh, lunchtime. So maybe Ooh. I will see you again soon. Okay? Too Thank blue. you. Bye for now. Oh, I'm still recording. <laughs>